and Steve Kim here. So excited. Steve Kim Show episode number 161. The much anticipated July stats are in and as usual, I got your numbers and your stats as they pertain to the detached and townhome markets for Toronto and pockets of the GTA. So let's get right into it. So that average detached property in Toronto back in June 2021 was trading on $1.7 million. Fast forward into July 2021 is now trading on $1.63 million. So we've seen a slight decrease in detached properties selling in Toronto month over month. When well, Richmond Hill, what happened? That average detached property in June 2021 was trading on $1.75 million. Fast forward into July 2021 is now trading on $1.83 million. In Markham, what happened? That average detached property in June was trading on $1.64 million. And fast forward into July is now trading on $1.7 million. And in Vaughan, what happened? That average detached property in June was trading on $1.72 million. We see a slight drop into July, now trading on $1.63 million. Now, months of inventory, this is all supply and demand. And supply and demand is really the number one determinant in terms of pricing and pricing acceleration. So back in June 2021, in the detached housing market for Toronto, we were hovering on 1.2 months of inventory. Fast forward into July, we're now hovering on 1.3 months of inventory. So still very much a strong seller's market for detached properties in Toronto because we see such limited supply. And Richmond Hill, what happened back in June 2021, we were hovering on 1.8 months of inventory. We see a slight drop into July, 1.7 months of inventory. And in Markham, we went from 1.2 down to 1.08 months of inventory into July. And in Vaughan, we went from 1.3 to 1.4. So still very much across these pockets, we are still very much in a strong seller's market because of such limited inventory. And a bounce market for this type of housing category is hovering around four to five months of inventory. Now in the townhome market, now back in June 2021, for a townhome in Toronto was trading on $1.25 million. Fast forward in July, we see drop just a little bit to $1.17 million. And in Richmond Hill, what happened? We didn't see much of a change that the average townhome property in both June and July was trading on $1.112 million. And Mark, what happened? In June 2021, that average townhome property was trading on 1.1. We see a small increase now trading on 1.112 million in July 2021. And in Vaughan, we went from 1.05 million in June up to 1.08 million into July. And now months of inventory. In Toronto, June 2021, we're having 1.2 months of inventory. Fast forward in July, we're now hovering around 1.3. So still very much a strong seller's market. Now we'll pay attention to this. In Richmond Hill in June, we went from 0.68 months of inventory into, the, into July, 0.69 months of inventory. So still very much an incredibly strong seller's market for townhomes in Richmond Hill. And to give you a little bit of insight, 0.68 months of inventory is around three weeks of inventory. So what that means is if I took all of the townhomes currently on the market, it would take three weeks for them to completely sell out. So that is very, very much a strong seller's market. And in Markham, what happened? We were hovering 1.06 months of inventory into June. Fast forward into July, it drops to 0.52 months of inventory. So very much a strong seller's market. And similarly in Vaughan, we went from 0.66 months of inventory in June to 0.75 months of inventory into July. Now, year over year price change for an average detached property in Toronto. So check this out. Back in July 2020, that average detached property in Toronto was trading on $1.55 million. And as I just shared with you right now, July 2021 in Toronto, that average detached property is trading on $1.63 million. So that's about a 5.2% increase year over year for that detached property. Now pay attention to this number. In York Region, back in July 2020, for an average detached property, was trading on $1.29 million. And fast forward in July 2021, that average detached property in New York Region is now trading on $1.6 million. That is a 24% increase year over year. Pretty interesting. Anyways, I hope you found these numbers and these stats useful. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to give me a call, send me a text, shoot me over a DM or an email. As always, be great, be kind everyone. Take care.